Welcome back to DIY with Cheney. Um, we do all kinds of crafting here. I'm sure, I'm hoping that you've been here before. And if you haven't, welcome. It's uh, nice to have newbies. What I have are two shirts. I have this Oakland Raider shirt and I have this just plain gray, heathered gray t-shirt. And I got this, I got them both at the bins this morning and that's the Goodwill Clearance Center. It's not a Goodwill outlet, it's where that stuff then goes or a lot of times stuff that didn't never made it to Goodwill goes to the Clearance Center. But you'll see that this has a great big hole. It has um, a couple of things, but they're on this side of the shirt. So in my infinite wisdom, I decided what if I took this shirt, cut it along the side, so it off where I can still see Oakland Raiders. Take this shirt and what I'll do is I'll probably line them up together and seam it together so that I end up with one shirt without a hole. So basically, you've got your Oakland shirt, and then you have a different shirt. Now, what I could do, and I just thought of, I'm gonna take both sides off and put this right in the middle of this dark one. That is a thought. And that would look really cool, I think. Because there's nothing wrong with this shirt. This shirt's the one with the problem. So what we're going to do is cut them down. We'll cut this one down first. Then we'll lay it on top and cut this one based on this cut. And then I'm going to use my serger or if you call it that, the overlock machine and hem up the sides, do the sides. The uh, overlock makes this where it you put it together like so and you just run it through and it and then once I get it together I'll take it and I'll sew on top. So that is the plan. This is a vintage Oakland Raider shirt, but I can cut it up without feeling bad because it is in such bad shape. So what I will do, because this is from 1999, what I will do is get my rotary cutter and my cutting board and we will come back and cut this one up. So let me get my things together and we will get started. Okay, I've got my cutting mat, my large ruler, and this is the ruler I use when I'm uh, cutting most things, and my rotary color, cutter. Now let me tell you a little bit about a rotary cutter. One, so easy to use once you get used to it. But two, that blade is sharp as anything and will cut you bad. Things I've learned over time. So I'm learning it so you don't have to. So let's get our shirt up. I've got it pretty much flattened out. And let's look at how we're going to cut this. So let me move things just a hair. I'm going to have to move it up and down because I only have my small cutting mat in here. So we're going to stay on the board. And this is the tricky part is getting it all straight, ready to cut because you can't put it back on. Let's look at there. How are we? About the same from the edges. Now I want to leave enough material here so that when I surge it, it's going to be fine. So let's put it on that line. There we go. Do my blade. 
and press down. Okay. Let's see how that comes right off. Yeah, we will move it up. The remaining. The, the beautiful thing about the remaining part is all you have to do is line this up on that line so that you still get a straight cut. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and once I get it cut apart we'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to do the other, the other shirt. So I will be right back with this one in pieces. All right, we have our shirt cut, and it will be perfect once I get it all sewn together. The front pulled together because that's where this uh, silk screen is. So it does have a little bit more pull to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and hook it onto this shirt. So the first thing we want to do is get the shoulders, we want to get these shoulders straight. So see how I've got the shoulders straightened and I'll get the bottom, get it all nicely straight and then we're going to take this shirt and basically, we're going to pin it together. I was gone most of this week. It's not that I was gone. Um, I have new chicks that have hatched for my classroom. And last weekend was the chick watch where we were waiting for additional eggs to hatch. They didn't, we only got one. But I also had a newborn that I had to make sure had water because she was staying in the incubator. So, so that we could hopefully get more chicks, but we didn't. Anyway, so now we're gonna get pins. We're gonna pin these together and I'm gonna cut off this side and this side so that it comes out like this for this shirt. So we're gonna have these dark gray along the side and it's kind of going to frame our raiders. And then we'll have to adjust the hem once we get it done. Now, for those of you who don't know, Oakland Raiders are no longer exist. They are now the Las Vegas Raiders and I live in Vegas. And so they're our team, and that does not mean I changed my allegiance. Um, I grew up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I know you would think I was a Cowboy fan, and I used to be. I just have differences of philosophy, if you will, with the owner. And so, yeah, about that. So we just, we don't talk about it. It's kind of like Bruno, we don't talk about it. Okay. So let's put this together and let us get that cut and then so let's get this back together well not back together let's just get it together hmm. you can feel the folds underneath so that's that's what you're doing is you're feeling for folds underneath the fabric because you want to straighten it as much as you can prior to cutting it I want to cut it prematurely. That. Got that. Come on. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. Now what I probably will do is hem it a little bit shorter. It's fairly long. It's a guy's shirt. But anyway, 
the normally I would not do this to a shirt when I was talking about the writers. Normally I would not do this to a, one a vintage shirt to a shirt from a team that is no longer there because there is value still in the shirt. But this shirt had that big cut and the value was gone. So what we're going to do is take this shirt that is just a plain t-shirt. It's a um, Walmart t-shirt. And I got both of them at the bins, so it's not like, you know, I went out and spent $10, $12 to get a t-shirt. I probably, between the two, based on weight, I may have spent $1.40, something like that. So, you know, that is always consider how much you're spending. And I'll also tell you, I found this shirt and I was like, oh, look, ah, oh, crud, it's torn. And then my brain went, well, we do want to blend um, band t-shirts, you know, where you have Aerosmith and the Rolling Stones or something like that. Not necessarily those two, but, um, and I have a lot of band t-shirts that I bought for that purpose is to, I wanted to upcycle them so that they had a new life because, you know, we put all these t-shirts out and people buy all these t-shirts and then we don't wear them. And so why not do something different with them? And that was my plan. So before I do that with shirts that I'm kind of attached to, I wanted to do it on shirts that didn't really have any other purpose in life because this Oakland shirt with the cut had no intrinsic value left in it. So I decided, okay, well, let's see what we can do. These are my good scissors. If you, any of you have good sewing scissors, don't let anybody cut with anything else with them. My, my scissors only cut cloth. Nobody touches my scissors. That's a, that's a killing offense. Now, what I want to do is take this and go back to the serger and put that seam in it, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So we will be right back. So we are back, and as you can see, areas that don't look good so I'm gonna have to go back and fix it but we have put the two together came out not horrible which is good I've got a few things that I want to tweak on it and we'll change the hem but here's what I did I ran it through the serger or the overlocker and seamed that really well so that it won't come undone now, I could go back and, just like in the shoulders, seam it down so that that stays down, and, but I don't think I'm going to. See how they set it to where it lays down on the neck? And this one doesn't in the front, so that means it was a 90s, but because of the double seam. But like I said, I would never, ever, ever have done this to a shirt that was still in good shape. This is a shirt that was going in the trash. This is a shirt that there was really very little hope for. So what I did was I took it and played with an idea. And that is one of the best things that you can do is just play with your ideas. As you can see, the sleeve is a little closer on this side than it was on this side, but that's the way it lined up. And there we go. So I will end up hemming it probably, I would hem it about like that. So it fits a little bit shorter, be more of a female size or a really thin gap. But it's gone from what was a, God only knows what size because they cut the tag out, probably a medium. And now it is a small. So like I said, what we'll do is we'll take it, see how much difference there was between this shirt and this shirt. We'll take it and cut it off.
about, and I'll show you. The way I'll do it is you line it up to where these are all now laying nice and flat. Get it nice and even on our board. And place my cutter, my uh, measuring, my ruler, gosh, measuring thing, my ruler, and lay it down to where you've got a flat edge at the bottom. Take my rotary cutter and I will just cut it so that it all cuts off at the same amount. So that piece is gone. I'll go back and hem this piece and we are done. So that is one way to salvage a shirt, to make something new again. And my thought is if I can get this down to where I understand what I'm doing, and that's why I got shirts that really didn't have a lot of value. Um, what I want to do is cut them straight down the center and put two band t-shirts together because I think that would look cool. So that is today's. I appreciate your spending time with me. Like I said, unless you know what you're doing or unless you are just really comfortable or you just hate the shirt, don't do this to one that you haven't, that is still in good shape. This was a vintage Oakland Raider shirt that had lost its value. So that is what we have done to it. So thank you for spending your time with me. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I hope that you'll come back and see what we do next. I will be out of town this weekend and the first part of next week. So it'll be the end of the week next week before I post again. So you'll have today's and one more this week. And then it'll probably be a break of almost a week. And I know I'm taking a lot of time off, but it's finally spring break and I get to leave town and I'm excited. So thank you for spending your time with us. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, do that on the bottom and I will see you next time. Thanks.